This is Trust Ted with another review for Tesla owners of Silicon Valley. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Today, I'm super excited. We're gonna be installing this Blink HQ 200 charger at my buddy John's place. I'm sure you guys know him. Anyway, as always, we're gonna be going through the product look and feel, the installation, the functionality, and the price value, and then we'll give it a final rating at the end. So let's get into it. Okay, one thing I really like are the instructions. So actually this is a, just an image showing you, you gotta take the cover off to get to the mounting plate. Um, but it's just really great. It's very detailed and I've only gotten halfway through it, but kudos um, and good to make the installation more clear. Okay, one challenge that I ran into here was uh, taking the cover off. So there's a cover right here with two screws. And unfortunately, it's this really bizarre M4 Trox uh, bolt. Uh, and this is actually what it looks like. So um, I was really lucky that I had it. Anyway, just kind of so you know. All right, so I just unscrewed this plate. This is actually the mounting plate. And this is actually a really great design. I'll just show you here. Um, once, you know, you have to sort of pretend this is mounted to the wall, but basically there's a lip that this is gonna sit in. And then you just have to put those two bizarre Torx, whatever screws they are back in, and this thing will be mounted. So let's mount this plate next. I just want to show you guys, this is actually where the top of the charger is going to go. I just sort of held it up here. And since the top of the charger to where the mounting plate mounts on the back, it's about two inches below. So I just made a mark there. I'm going to basically put the, the mounting plate here. There's a stud behind it. And then we'll hang the charger up. Now, one of the thing inside the device, which I did not have to do because I hooked it up to a 50 amp circuit, but there's a switch. Uh, there's a dip switch you can sort of see here. I'm just going to zoom in. Um, the unit needs to be open, so you do this before you mount it. Uh, but since the default was the 40 amp, which is what I wanted because I'm on a 50 amp circuit, um, you know, I didn't have to do anything. But if you have less than a 50 amp circuit, you need to make sure you go in and tweak this dip switch. Okay, I'm going to hang this up now on the mounting plate. So the key here is you need to get that back there's a little lip there but then on the bottom what you want to do is you want to line those holes up with this mounting bracket on the bottom there's two screws there and so you just have to get it lined up and then it will fall into place and as always when I do an install video I never get it right the first time but you know with a little bit of effort just making sure you get it straight it's on so now I just can put those other screws down in here. Okay. Okay. So guys, um, because this screw is really close to the outlet here, uh, I couldn't just directly use it. I had to use this like right angle attachment. If you have like this or a flexible one, the other trick I want to tell you is you might need someone to help you push this because the bracket is actually, um, it sticks out a little bit. And so you need to push this charger in so the hole in the plate lines up. So what you just wanna do is just, I have one of them already in, and so I'm just gonna get this other one set, and then you just screw it in, a little bit of force, and then boom, it's in. And now we can hang a gorilla off of this thing. So we're gonna plug it in now. Okay, so I'm just plugging it in. So there we go, we're plugged in. And then you can kind of adjust the bracket. Um, this thing is gonna power up. I'm sure it's gonna go through an initialization. And then we're gonna take a look at the app. And between now and then, I'll actually take the charger and, and put it in there. Okay, so the unit powers up and when you set it up, you have to connect to it with Wi-Fi. And you can see that there's a password there. Um, and then you basically use that serial number as your password. And then there's an at uh, blink that you uh, put on it. So, um, and then when you install the app, you get this here. So now you can start charging, you can set the amount of current and so on. Of course, you can do that in the car too, or whatever time. So we're actually gonna back the car up and just do a quick check. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna plug it in here. Oh, there's an audible sound from the uh, unit and it was flashing green and now it's flashing blue. And 
um, I believe the car should be set for charging and it's communicating. Yep, and now you can see it's starting to charge just like that. Okay, so let's wrap up the Blink HQ200. Um, so for the product, I'm actually gonna give this thing a five. This is really well built. I love that there's all the certifications on this. For install, I really don't like that they use that Torx or Trunx, whatever the screw is called. I'm gonna give that a three and a half. I was fortunate I had the bit, but a lot of people aren't going to. In terms of functionality, I'm gonna give it a four and a half, and the only reason I give it a little ding is if you did not have a 50 amp circuit and you needed to change it, you'd have to open this up and, and play with the dip switches. Um, and then for the price, it's uh, the value, it's $749. You can use the TOSV code and get 10% off. Um, so it's a little bit on the more expensive side, but this is a really quality unit. It's, it's just awesome. It's gonna be reliable for years down the road. So I give it a four. So a final score is 17.